Welcome to the Hero's Journey Project podcast, episode number 20. I'm your host, Nick. If you've been following along thus far, you'll notice there's been a change today. I have much, much less facial hair. It's all smooth now. Yeah, baby face. It's great. Oh, other than that, we've uh, I've been reading some comics, so I'm here to bring you 10 more issues from the golden age. I've been reading comics. We're on November of 1943. So let me share my screen here and you can see exactly what I've been up to. Okay. First up, we have Captain Marvel Jr., number 13 from Fawcett, November 1943. So you've got uh, Hitler cover here. Looks like he's uh, bowling them over. Strong arm, straight arm to uh, Hitler, Hirohito, and Mussolini. Got three Axis leaders on the cover. In the first story, Freddie Freeman is taken in by a wealthy couple, and he attends school. Normally, he's just peddling his papers, but now he's attending school. It's very exciting. Second story, you got Captain Marvel Jr. and Captain Nazi race to track down a briefcase that contains Nazi plans to take over the United States. Third story is Captain Marvel Jr. stumbles across Dr. Savannah's scheme to use a mirage projector to distract from his crimes. Last but not least, Captain Marvel Jr. locates the source of the poisoned newspapers. So you have a recent CGC 9.6 sale from September 2020 for $12,000. Again, I'm always impressed when you can find a 9.6 or anything really higher, 9.0. For a, for a comic that's been around for almost 80 years. That just boggles the mind. Boggles them. $12,000 seems like a reasonable premium to pay for this issue with a Hitler cover, four Captain Marvel Jr. stories. Next up, Detective Comics, number 81, DC, November 1943. Uh, first story, the Batman story, is Batman faces off against a new foe dressed like a musketeer named Cavalier who sets up an elaborate scheme to steal seemingly valueless items. Now, this is the first appearance and cover of Cavalier. Like I'm uh, mostly a modern comic reader for the most part. When I grew up, I don't know about Cavalier. Apparently, he features, he'll be back for uh, quite a few appearances in the Golden Age. But I don't know him. Certainly, I haven't seen him in the movies or TV shows or anything like that. Next up, Crimson Avenger must get his loyal ally Wing out of hot water when he when his playing reporter attracts the wrong kind of attention. So Wing decides to be a reporter, gets in all sorts of trouble. Seems kind of like a Gilligan Skipper sort of situation, but hey, what do I know? Most recent CGC sale I could find was a 7.0 from July of 2020 for $660. I feel first appearance and a cover of a uh, new villain for Batman. I guess this villain's not that well sought after. I feel like this issue could have gone for a lot more. I feel like it uh, might have a little more value. It's a good cover. Lots going on. Maybe too much trade dress. Who knows? Next up, we have Flash Comics, number 47 from DC, November 1943. I'm not going to lie. This cover just looks like a mess. I don't know. The The... Hawkman's on it, which is not really my favorite character. He's fighting with some gangster who looks like he's got some weird smudges, five o'clock shadow going on, jumping out of a can. I don't know. Why not? So I was reading three stories out of this issue. First up, Flash is hired by gangsters to play himself so that Flash will be framed for their crimes. So it's kind of crazy. They find a guy who looks like Flash to be the Flash. And it turns out they hired the Flash to be the Flash. Johnny Thunder ends up catching some Nazi saboteurs on his naval ship after his Thunderbolt is up to some mischief. So again, another story where nothing really happens with Johnny Thunder. I feel like they're really letting this character go. Nothing going on in the stories per se. It's not really a plot. It's just sort of a, Everything happens by accident in these stories. All right, why not? I can see why this, uh, based on the storytelling they're providing for this character, I can see why he fell out of fashion and didn't make it to the modern age. 
Anyway, Hawkman enlists the help of some hawks to track criminals and uncover where they're all hiding together. It's pretty handy having some birds you can summon to do your bidding. I should maybe look into that myself. We have a recent CGC 6.5 sale from September 2019 for $550, which I feel is pretty much on par with that last Detective Comics issue that we read before. And this issue is just Golden Age issue with three characters in it, uh, three main uh, characters from the Golden Age. You know, the last one was a Batman issue. You had a first appearance and cover of uh, a villain. You know, 7.0 sold for 660. I feel uh, that issue must be undervalued, certainly compared to this one with this awful cover. Next up, we have Green Lantern 9 from DC, late fall 1943. You have four, uh, sorry, three Green Lantern stories in this one. This one's an interesting cover. I like it. Bit of action, something going on. Why not? Again, I believe uh, this happened last Green Lantern issue where Green Lantern, the main character, uh, the main image of him on the cover is not the same as the little sort of thumbnail avatar they've got in the logo. Why not? I mean, the artist could not make those more similar. No? All right. So in the first issue, in the first story, Green Lantern inherits a school for tough kids and it leads him to catch some crooks that have eluded him. Crazy, huh? So he inherits a school. I don't know if he gets to keep the school. This might be just a one-off where, I don't know, he just gets a school and then it's never mentioned again. Who knows? Second up, second story, Green Lantern has his hands full when Doiby falls in love with the beautiful leader of a mob who is using him to destroy Green Lantern. Oh, women. Green Lantern is after some desperate men looking to steal items that will give them some courage and be leaders in their fields. You have a recent CGC 5.5 sale from October 2020 for $575. See, and this is, I mean, oh sure, okay. So it's worth more than the last issue we we're looking at for the Flash. Um, but again, it, I feel, you know, this in the 7.0 might be worth more than that Detective Comics. I'm really harping on Detective Comics. I really wish it was worth more. Or it, maybe I should buy one. Maybe it's just undervalued. What do I know? All right. So following uh, that, we have Hit Comics number 30 from Quality, November 1943. I was reading two stories out of this. First up is Kid Eternity. He has his hands full keeping Julius Caesar and his Romans from running amok in New York when Father Time's time machine breaks down. Uh, Kid Eternity, I don't know if you're familiar with it. Essentially, he was on a boat with his grandfather and they were killed. And it turns out that it wasn't Kid Eternity's time to die. So he was sent back down to earth to do some good and try to keep the peace. So he sort of, he can just say eternity and then end up in heaven and make things happen and magical powers here. The big bald guy behind him on the cover there, that's um, that's the keeper and uh, he helps him out. They work together trying to get things done. And then in the second story of Her Highness forcibly takes over the business of a spiritualist and catches some crooks for the reward, but ends up in jail herself. Her Highness, she got two degrees. So Her Highness was a villain. So she is a villain. She has her own strip in Hit Comics, and she was originally in uh, Kid Eternity's stories, and then they spun her off and gave her her own story. For this one, you have a recent CGC 7.5 sale from December 2018 for $150. There's only four on the census. Uh, maybe Kid Eternity is not a big draw, uh, but again, you have an eight-year-old comic here. Only four on the census, really rare. I feel if this comic comes up, this would be a good one to get for sure. I love the red and yellow on the cover. It's a great cover. It seems to really pop. Simple but effective. You can get this in like a 7.5 high grade. I think it would look really good. Okay, Marvel Mystery Comics number 49, Timely, November 1943. Uh, this is a, it looks a lot like the Schomburg covers, but it's a Sid Shore. Uh, in this issue, you have Human Torch catches the kangaroo man who killed his brother with a formula that turns blood into fuel. Blood into fuel. Crazy, crazy stuff. 
Submariner takes down a secret underground, underground Japanese military base while, all va- while on vacation in Death Valley. So it's kind of, you know, fish out of water story because you don't really find Submariner in the desert too often, too far away from the water. And really trying to figure out in these stories how long it takes for Submariner to be out of water before he gets weak and his powers start to fail him, or strength, I guess, starts to fail him. In this, it seems like for about 12, after about 12 hours being away from water, he started to get weak. Although in previous stories, it seemed, you know, he was locked up maybe for five minutes and he said, oh, no water. Oh my God. And he's uh, he's going to drown or he's going to suffer or he's going to die, whatever. So I, I don't feel like it's very consistent in terms of what they're using for the time, but who knows? Okay. Now, the next story is about Miss America, and she is born from an experiment to harness electricity during a lightning storm. This is her origin and first appearance. So it's great, origin, first appearance, Miss America. Didn't really know a lot about this uh, particular Miss America character, Uh, but that's it. You have uh, origin, first appearance right there. In the final... um, Story that I was reading, you have the Patriot who solves the case of the man killed by a black mamba snake. Spoiler, the butler did it. I know, sounds cliche. Maybe this is where it came from. You have a recent CGC 8.0 sale from February 2019 for $6,000. So $6,000 seems seems reasonable for me for an 8.0. You've got uh, origin and first appearance of a new character, a new hero. Very awesome. Next up, we have Marvel Mystery Comics number 50, Timely, December 1943. Now you're going to wonder, why is he reading two issues in a row? And one was November. He was reading November comics. Now he's in December. Look, because it says so right on the slide, it says continues the Miss America story. Now, it's in, now, to be fair, you don't see a lot of that in these Golden Age comics. Usually every story is self-contained. They don't continue in other issues or they're uh, just continued in that one issue, but they don't usually, there's not really an arc that spans more than one issue. So I decided to read these in a row so I wouldn't forget what the story was about. And it's great. I love when we get the story arcs and things get uh, spread out. Anyway, you have an Alex Schomburg cover and it's a bondage cover as well. And the first story is about Human Torch interferes with a Nazi plan to ambush allied forces in Russia. Submariner turns an ambush by Japanese naval forces in the Pacific into a victory for the U.S. Navy. And then, so the Miss America story continued. She thwarts the efforts of Nazi spies to blow up some war factories. Now, in this issue, in this story, Miss America's powers are revealed. She has power to fly, strength of a thousand men. She has x-ray vision. And she has the wisdom of the ages. I don't know if really it can quantify wisdom specifically, but she has the wisdom of the ages. Whatever the ages are, that's how much wisdom she got. Next up, the Patriot rescues Mary Morgan from Nazi scientists, but not before they inject her with a serum that gives her special powers. So this is the first Mary Morgan with powers. I saw it noted someplace that it's the first appearance of Miss Patriot or introduction. The story is called Introducing Miss Patriot. However, she's not referred uh, as Miss Patriot in the story, but she does get her power. She gets injected with some syrup that's supposed to, you know, experimental kind of thing, sort of the uh, same thing as the Patriot. But yeah, she's just, so she's still Mary Morgan, doesn't get a new name, doesn't get an outfit, nothing fancy, but this is where she got her powers. So in the last story, the angel joins an allied naval convoy bound for the U.S. and catches a Nazi spy aboard his ship, trying to alert German submarines to their position. You have a recent CGC 3.5 sale from May 2020 for $1,100. So uh, this one, bondage cover, Alex Schomburg cover. I don't know if the Alex Schomburg's more or less sought after than Sid Shores. I feel he is, for the most part, again, Alex Schomburg. I know not everyone loves him. Some people do. I think it's great art. They always see lots going on on the Alex Homer covers. Lots of action. Lots of people getting hurt. Kind of gruesome. It's great. Even if the physics are always a little off, I don't care. 
Next up, Master Comics, number 44, Fawcett, November 1943. So, yep, we're continuing with November. Who do you have a Penguin cover? I don't know if anyone ever collects Penguin covers or if it's a thing. But Cap Marvel Jr. heads to the South Pole to help some talking penguins keep some thugs from stealing their crystals. Now, the problem is the talking penguins don't want their secret to get out. And these thugs found out about it because someone did talk and did visit. And now no one knows about it except, except Cap Marvel Jr. Now knows their secret that they can talk. And it's, but now they've published a comic. Everybody knows. So whatever. Most recent CGC sale I could find was an 8.0 from September 2013 for $263. Uh, it seems kind of a rare issue. There's only seven graded cgc comics on the census so that's um i'd say if you find it you're pretty lucky especially if you're collecting penguin covers maybe it's a thing i don't know is it a thing next up more fun comics number 994 dc november december 1943 action pack cover here a lot of two sunspots looking like uh to uh illustrate people getting whacked i don't like the cover i feel like the colors are all kind of blended and mashed and it's not for me but in the first uh first uh, sorry story green episode uh, green episode come on green arrow is arrested when he apprehends some thieves in a small town that was bought by some crooks and they run things by their own rules and their own rules mean crooks get away with things and good guys end up in jail for shame Dr. Fate keeps a man safe who believes that fate has plans for him, but it is actually his nephew trying to put him in danger all along. Aquaman, Aquaman helps a general accomplish his mission by maneuvering through Nazi-occupied Italy. Good job, Aquaman. Johnny Thunder takes a nap while Tubby Watts tries out the speed formula and finds out that speed is difficult to control. All right. The specter uses puppets to convince a line. A, the specter uses puppets to convince a lifelong puppet hater to appreciate them again. Now I feel at this point that the specter stories have jumped the shark, fallen off the rails. I mean, usually I, I always I, originally in sorry in the specter's origin, uh, Jim Corrigan dies becomes a specter he's supposed to rid the world of evil evil he does this as a cop but now they've got him you know trying trying to stop a puppet hater from shutting down a puppet theater i mean come on this is this is the evil he's combating now is the you know a big guy picking on little guy just doing business saying come on it's it's terrible i feel the specter i mean i understand the specter will have better stories going forward but this golden age specter is really not living up to his potential you have a recent cgc 9.4 sale from march 2017 for 2718 dollars 9.4 is impressive last but not least you have national comics number 37 from quality it's from november 1943 the only story i was reading this issue was about quicksilver uh, Quicksilver tracks down an elusive crook who turns out he's hiding in a suit of armor in a junk pile. You have a recent CGC 9.6 sale from November 2018 for $2,400. I don't know, I like this cover. It's got the purple. Purple covers, don't see them too often. Got Uncle Sam on the cover. I don't know if that's well sought, out, sought after if people care about Uncle Sam, if they care about the huge face of Uncle Sam on a comic. Uh, is it does that make it a patriotic cover you have it looks like hirohito being chased on the cover not 100 percent sure um so does that make it more sought after i don't know i don't know you, you take your pick i'm not gonna say i feel the guts of this book are probably not the most enticing cover looks good if you're getting it graded you're never gonna read the inside anyway so that's what I got this week. There's 10 issues, still November 1943, except for that one where it um, 
followed into December 1943, which is kind of nice. I'd like to see more arcs. I hope these guys, um, hope we can get more of those spanning f- over uh, a number of issues. That'd be great. Just like the modern comics. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate your time. If you watch this far into the video, awesome. You're now my number one f- favorite fan. Take care.